Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Hopefully you are all doing well. So in an effort to get more videos done and to get more stuff painted, I've decided to do a new Let's Paint series. But we're getting units painted instead of getting single models. I will be doing my single model Let's Paint videos, but this is just another thing to keep me going and to get more stuff done. I have so many nice units that are just crying out to get painted by now, it's ridiculous. So first up, I'm going to try and finish off my unit of Blood Reavers. I have three already finished, so hopefully I should be able to get through the seven other guys fairly handy. So in the other Let's Paint video, I have done uh, two Blood Reavers, and I had one done before that. So if you want to check that out, make sure to check in the description below. There will be a link and everything there, so have a quick look at it if you have time. Um, but I have seven left. Now I only have four based, um, because I can only find four corks. I literally just had to run them out. So it's going to have to get more corks, but I will be doing the seven of them all together. Um, you know, I'll be doing this, this will probably be, a whole unit will probably be a couple of videos long. Um, you know, the plan for this first video is just to do like an introduction and to get uh, base coat and washes on. So, you know, what I'm going to be doing is, I'll probably do a lot of the, the fle all the flesh work on it. Um, get that washed and then do a lot of the base colours and everything else. So that's the plan for this. So hopefully these set of videos will get me motivated. And hopefully it can help you guys as well if you need it to show you how to paint some of the stuff or how high or <laughs> or how high or uh, or how I painted. There we go. I got it out eventually. I can get it out eventually. And um, you know you can see how I painted and you know or maybe just take inspiration just to get more stuff painted. You know, I do have another unit of these. You get twenty of them in the box. So the other unit of ten, I just I'm just not gonna do them now. I'll get them done eventually. Um, I just want to get these finished and then see what I'm going to be doing after that. So stay tuned and I, and I get these base colours uh, started. Okay, so I finally got the base colours on and the wash over them. Uh, what was probably like a second in this video felt like ages for me getting the bases and the wash on these guys because there's so much little details on these, there's so much going on on the model. Um, it does take a while to get the base coats on, it's probably like 70% of the model just getting the best coats on these because once you have that on and you get the wash over all the colors you're you're pretty much set then just to do uh, just layer up some colors and then just do your highlights because that's most of the hard work on it and um, you know but you, you'd want to do your skin first your skin colors you'd want to put your uh, rack hard flesh on it and then you'd want to put your flat on flesh over it with a wash of uh, Reikland flesh head um, and then do the pants what I'd say do next do it your I use the scorched brown the old color uh, two layers of that to get it a nice kind of color all over it um, and then just, um, just work on any other parts after that then probably do the red of the armor and then do the silver on top of it you know on the leg parts there um, you know for the metal I use the lead belcher um, let me see what other colours that I use. For the brown, the light browns, for the fur and over the, the straps and everything like that was um, vermin brown. So uh, like this guy here, he has the big furry chest or the big furry shoulders. Um, that's vermin brown. So you want to go over that and pretty much everything else is just washed with agrax or shed down including the metal. I usually use null and oil for it, but I just use the the Agrax or shed was fine for it with these guys. Um, and obviously the Reikland flesh shed for the skin. You don't want it to go too dark. The Reikland uh, wash does a pretty decent job on it. So um, yeah. So basically, once you have your base colors on, that is a lot of the hard work finished. Um, what I'm going to be doing in the next video is I'm going to be highlighting. The skin with another layer of flared one flesh probably. Um you know just highlighting up the colours, putting in a proper uh nice bright edge on the metal on the axe and everything. Um pretty much and the scars, I'll be getting the scars work done as well. This guy has a pretty big chaos kind of marking on his back and on his chest. So uh, 
pretty much just layering up some colors in some parts and then highlighting as well so i um, so make sure to keep an eye out for part two of this and um, make sure to hit the like button for this one leave a comment below let me know what you guys think and subscribe if you haven't uh feedback is always greatly appreciated so uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys next video